This is KTVO's Good Morning Heartland. And welcome back. It's now time for our cooking segment. And this morning we have Andrea Greer with the Northeast Regional Medical Center. She's the head chef there. And today we're going to learn how to make some fish tacos. We are. That sounds delicious. So is there a certain type of fish that you recommend when it comes to making these tacos? Uh, whenever I do it, I use cod or tilapia. You uh -huh. want to use a, uh, a white fish. They take on a better flavor. They take on the other flavors, except for catfish. Okay, I catfish see. Is a All loin. right, so what do we have here? We have a cod uh, loin there. Okay. All right, so... Hmm. Get a little fire going. Perfect. A little oil in there. Okay. And you can deep fry these, or you can fry them. You can throw them in a breading, however you like them. Uh, since it's the new year, everybody's trying to be a little healthier. So we're not going to so do it in the flour. <laughs> we're going to do a little salt and pepper and uh, lemon juice on it. And then just pan fry it up a little bit. Okay. Or you can pop it in your oven Ooh. also. That's how we do it if we do them at the hospital. We just Fan throw them in the oven. Fantastic. Um, now, how, do you, how do you know when the fish is done cooking when you do do it in the in the, in the pan? Yeah. You can watch it from the side. Um, they actually, it'll cook up, but it'll be a, a, a solid white color. Okay. Good to so. know. Good to know. All right. So what's our next step? All right. Well, we also are going to do a coleslaw. Oh, okay. This. To go with it on, with the... on top of the, okay. the tacos. We're going to do a chipotle coleslaw. It's going to have a little heat to it. Give it a little flavor. Which I understand, Samantha, you're not too big on spicy, are you? No, I'm not. But... I'm telling it's you, every, every time bad. Andrea comes and cooks for us, it always <laughs> is delicious. So I'll just so go here. With what, it. what do we have right here? What's this? This is just a coleslaw mix, a normal one you can get at the grocery store. Okay. It can have cabbage in it. This just doesn't have any cabbage. Okay. In it. So we'll just add that in there. Okay, fantastic. We'll add a little cilantro to it. All right. Just to give it a little Mexican flavor. Mm -hmm. A little garlic, because that totally helps. Yes. Because who doesn't love garlic? That's right. It's my favorite. That's my favorite as well. <laughs> so, and then... As is pan pizza. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Watch out, I don't see a top. <laughs> Getting intense. That's awesome. So then what do you have right here? We have the chipotle pepper. Okay. You can buy it in like a little can. They already come stewed like this. Uh, they're real easy to chop it up real fine. Now, is this really spicy? It's got a little heat to it, so okay. we're not going to put it all in there. It's just okay. like a tablespoon. All righty. And then you're just going to, oh, what do you have over here? We got a little lemon juice. Okay. Ooh. Add that in there. Now, do you uh, prefer actually fresh squeezed lemon juice or out of a little container? Does uh, it matter? It doesn't really matter. Okay. I mean, me, it depends on how many you're, uh, you're cooking for at the hospital. I'm okay. not going to squeeze 100 limes for people. So. <laughs> I, love my, uh, I love them, but I, I don't know if I'm going to do it that right. way. So we're going to add a little mayonnaise to it. Okay. We'll mix it all up. All right. We'll go ahead and show that off really quickly. Look at that. It smells See? good. I know. It does. It's got a little heat, so you, you get that. You pick it up. Do I have some water close by? Yeah. Well, <laughs> if, if you're that sensitive, yeah. Milk, actually. Milk, okay. Water all actually right. adds to it. So, so as this cooks up a little bit, mm -hmm. as we lost our flame, so, of course, when we do put the fish in there, like you just told me, to be careful because it does spray up it the just, oil. It does, yeah, it just pops up with the oil. But do you hear that? That just sounds deliciousness <laughs> right there in a pan. But it'll so. take it a couple minutes to cook up. Okay. Let it cook for about two minutes on one side, flip it. Yeah. Also so you, you don't want to constantly flip it? You don't want to constantly saying? flip it. Is it going to break apart? It'll break apart. It'll fall apart on you. Okay. Um, you're not going to be able to fit the whole loin into the tacos, as we'll show here after a little bit. Little bit. So about a four ounce loin is what that is, and it it usually takes about you can do two tacos. Okay. Mm -hmm. So what we'll do is we'll continue cooking this, mm -hmm. and then when we come back from break, we'll uh, show off the final product and taste it. Does we that will. sound yeah. like a plan? Sounds like a plan. All right. And welcome back. If you're just joining us, we just made fish tacos with Andrea Greer, who is the head chef at Northeast Regional Medical Center, and it le it took us less than pretty much five minutes to make. So really mm -hmm. quickly, just recap. Um, the ingredients and how we made this because you said that there's you can pretty much use any fish but you prefer white fish because it it absorbs it'll take on a flavor okay. it's not it doesn't have as much as a fishy mm -hmm. taste or has its own taste. right and we also um, just used you can either bake it or fry it in the pan you but can. you said also mm -hmm. you could you know deep fry it or bread you could it. yeah you could put it in a breading and okay. fry, pan it that way if you don't want some crunch to it or okay. a little flour to it. So. All right, so go ahead and talk about the fish. Uh, what did we put on the fish really quickly? The fish, we just did a salt and pepper and a little lemon.